We're timely because March break is coming up. Holidays, you may want to take your feet with you. Uh, that's why Mark Bradley's here from Brentford Podiatry. Welcome back. Great to be back again. Um, shouldn't I take my feet on holidays? Absolutely. I think our feet need a holiday more than any other part of our body. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Because think about it. You know, you know. Every time you do this to me, I'm thinking. I, I weigh 230 pounds right now. Let's say every time. I'm dropping that on the ground. My feet are absorbing what kind of foot One pounds? and a half times your body weight. Yeah, so we're talking about it's brutal. 345. My math is good. Pretty good. It's yeah. quite impressive. So what's the difference with holidays? Well, you know what? I was obviously thinking March break coming up, and I was fortunate enough to sneak off for a week's vacation there recently, and uh, there was a couple of things that struck me. It's like, number one, travel. And I think we talked a little bit about it in the past. You know, a lot of the time, especially for those that are fortunate enough to head off to a nice sunny destination, um, I was watching kids at 6 o'clock in the morning hopping out of minivans at Pearson in flip-flops to do this monstrous walk to their departure lounge. And, you know, you got to think about protecting ourselves for that huge journey uh, through Pearson International or whatever <laughs> port you have to be traveling through. You know, a good pair of, you know, supportive footwear to get you through to your destination and then change. And it's even weird now because you talk about traveling through Pearson and things like that. You can't take your little foot tools with you and things like that. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute, but you should. You just need to pack them. Right. And, okay. And, they aren't know, going send to the them ahead. Well, if somebody's sitting next to you and they're, they're doing something with their toenails, stewardess, can I get another seat, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not terribly desirable. But, you know, like, you just... Common sense stuff like that, you know, being comfortable, being stable. Uh, the number of uh, vacations that are ruined by somebody going and twisting their ankle and their way through the airport, and suddenly your your vacation that you've saved up, you know, six, 12 months for, just went out the window. I appreciate your philanthropy because it sounds like you could make a fortune on people in that week twisting an ankle, wearing uncomfortable footwear, not doing the stuff they should. That would should require me to set up in a nice warm destination yeah, and then yeah. I wouldn't be here anymore. Yeah, but then I'd be, hello Mark, uh, listen, I went on holidays and now I did this to my feet. So. Yeah, well, that, I'd, I'd like to do the consultation bit and I should go there and be there for them. <laughs> so yeah. how do we maintain that on holidays? Well, you know, that that's the number one thing. Get there safely, be sensible, and even while you're there, if you're going exploring, put on a pair of running shoes or right. something. It's, it's not like you're blending in. They know you're not local. <laughs> you know, even with my swarthy skin, I, I right. can't blend in in the Caribbean. So, you know, protect yourself. Um, again, anticipate that things can happen and will happen. You know, bring supplies with you. Bring band-aids. Bring some, you know, topical antibiotics with you to protect yourself. We all know about the dangers of sunburn, and some of us more than others. But the tops of our feet are incredibly sensitive. They've been wrapped up in shoes for the last four to six months. You're making me smile on my I, honeymoon. The only thing I burnt in Florida was the top of my feet. Oh, okay, thank <laughs> God for that. I thought you were going to tell me something no, else. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It was an R-rated honeymoon. Um, it basically, you know, you're, it's amazing, especially if you're in water and you think if you're in water, oh, I'm covered. Yep. Now you're almost radiating the sun. That, that, my passion is water sports. So... Every time I'm in the water, you run the risk of stepping on something, right. puncture wounds. There's, you know, like there's so many sea urchins out there. You know, a word of warning, you know, if you're in the water, keep your feet off the bottom. Right. You know, don't pad around. The likelihood of you stepping on something very unfortunate and very nasty and poisonous in some cases is quite high. So if somebody drops in to see you across from the hospital here in town, it, have you got visuals you can show them on those kind of footwear, the stuff they should be wearing or could be wearing? Yeah, I, as I said though, a lot of it's common sense. You know, that, that's the most Do you know the what the least common thing. sense is? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 this show is proving it over four years, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other group of vacationers that we haven't touched on are those that are uh, a little more athletic and ambitious and are going off skiing and hiking and things like that. And again, that's a huge change from their normal working or school environment. And it's important to, to remember about you know, nutrition, hydration, you're increasing your activity levels, making sure that your ski equipment is, is properly tuned and not overdo it the first no, day. No, we're going to have to get you back one time as crazy sounds. Talk about stretching of the feet because i got a funny feeling that's part of the problem. Enjoy your holiday if you have one coming up. Thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. Thank you again. Dr. Mark Bradley, Brentford Podiatry. We're back in just a little bit. It's Superwoman and the Girl Wonder next, Inside Brand. <laughs>